So Leslie, do you want to do do you want to do the recap in character? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, some vocal notes. Well, we uh, just don't know. Um, we have hooked up with the people that uh, that uh, derailed the train uh, because A, we want to get the ship and B, there is something going on here that needs to be explained uh, uh, because there were the previous uh, on the train when it was derailed, we found these bodies all named like Smith. Uh, uh, they were cry they were in, sl in sleeper chambers, cryopods. We suspect they're clones. So our, our job was to get on the uh, to get on the station and look around. We were told that there was going to be a surprise. Uh, we did find some information on the um, uh, uh, well, some information uh, from the logs from the labs. They're encrypted, but uh, the the this entire station is almost all laboratories. Uh, and it's uh, with some with some uh, temporary uh, sleeping quarters, uh, maintenance, the normal stuff like that. But it's it's almost all labs, and uh, and uh, we get, we did. I was able to uh, log in and get some stuff that was uh, encrypted. I just downloaded it, got set off, uh, came back, and uh, what is Victor's character's name? Anyway, my two compatriots, my, okay. my two compatriots uh, uh, actually got physically in some of the labs. I don't know that that gave them a lot more information than I got, but uh, uh, at least we gave uh, the layouts of the labs and I and an idea if people want to go in how these labs are subdivided because they could, you know, they could be they could with modules they could be divided anyway. So we now have the layouts of the labs. We've got information from the labs. The uh, owner of a um, uh, the ship that we're on, who's also uh, part of the family that created these ships, so it's a rather big wig, actually was taking a tour of the thing, came out of one room looking white as a ghost. Uh, didn't really acknowledge us, of course. Then we had the... Um, uh, alarm go off uh, 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 and uh, that the station was going to have to be evacuated. In the chaos, we managed to scrub clean any computer records we had and also any physical things we've done. Uh, the ship seems to be hanging around just out of orbit, so our decision now is are we going to try to do a little more snooping while there's nobody here, except for the robots, which I think we can get around pretty easy, or are we just gonna get the hell out of here? Get the hell out of Dodge? All right. So yeah, that is kind of the question. I think that you, I mean, we talked a little bit uh, outside of the game and you guys kind of gave me a little bit of prep. You said that you're getting the hell out, right? Or did you change your mind? <laughs> well, Anna's oh, saying was from the very beginning was to get the hell out of out of Dodge, but when she saw the ship was still hanging around, uh, we have a little time. What I'm uh, thinking right now um, is this. So Anna got a lot of data. Uh, mm -hmm. Me and uh, Tesson uh, managed to stripe hard drives literally out of their racks. Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility like, I don't know, if we might come uh, upon finding a personal key like a PVD or something, we might be able to crack some of the hashes. So may I look around i realize that everything is on fire everything is destroyed around us uh, this is not the time to search with a disadvantage or something do i see an officer or somebody that might have been injured or might have been outright killed around us while all of this chaos is going around 
Um, so actually, so when the explosion went off, it was, mm -hmm. um, it was in like the kind of like the lab area. And then you're mm -hmm. kind of in like the spoke of the wagon wheel. So it's like, you know, everybody hears this explosion, the, the whole ship like rocks, right? Yeah. And then everybody starts mm -hmm. running for the, um, for the little like, uh, lifeboats, you know? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. there's, there are, um, there, sorry, like shuttles, you know, that are in like mm -hmm. the docking bay. Um, and, uh, and, and they're specifically like lifeboats. And so the, the security guys, um, they make a break for the, the lifeboats, you know, cause they're actually piloting in them. Um, mm -hmm. And and then um, the uh, um, the the footage that you got the the what you got off of the um, when you were like you know digging around the security office was security footage. It was specifically security footage from the facility, like you know mm -hmm. like what was happening around the facility. So you kind of like you scrubbed your footprints, but also like everybody else's, you know, that was here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. When the uh, when the explosion went off. So um, you kind of like covered everybody's tracks, including your own. Does mm -hmm. that answer your mm -hmm. question? Yeah. 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 No, that's fine. That's fair. Um, I question the lab that they came out of. I want to backtrack if you did want to go back to the lab you know or or back i don't know if you're if, if you're if you want to find something else there's a lot of kind of chaos and confusion and there's you know um it's like you're wearing maintenance stuff mm. right and then everybody else mm. is wearing like they're well they're either wearing maintenance stuff security stuff or they're wearing like lab coats mm -hmm. so you kind of fit in i wouldn't mm -hmm. say that you're you would need to do it at a disadvantage. I would say almost like I would give you like a bonus because there's just there's just confusion and chaos. Now I had a question. The the lab that uh, uh, what is her name again? Let me see here. They're talking about the Captain May. Captain May. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The um, came out of what I'm sure it shows on the door what level security lab that I mean what level containment lab that would have been and maybe yeah, that also so, what level security yeah. like when when everybody was um let's see so you were kind of in like you were in some of the lower security areas mm -hmm. you know um and you you didn't necessarily see all of the like levels of security um that um like you you were you were in kind of some of the lower security areas and then she came out of one of like the like deeper parts of the lab but if you remember like one of the um like some of these business guys these um like corpo guys that were with her one of them was like yes yes when do we see the clones you know like they mentioned specifically mentioned the clones yeah, and so then you know the that in in uh the, the part of space that you're in cloning is specifically illegal like it is illegal to clone a human being um and there's a lot of things that kind of like that they get a pass on around here like they kind of get away with because it's like on the, I don't know, like the fringes of, um, but like cloning is one of those things where it's still like just super illegal. Um, okay. Cloning human beings. Yeah. All right. Let me, I'm, I'm, let's obviously make myself clear on this. Um, well, obviously, first of all, for one thing, we know that clones are not in that lab, but something turned May White. My question is, forget the security is one thing, the level, if they're doing bio research, the level biohazard level of that lab should be 
in a color like a triangle or something or like that should be on the door. What how I mean um that's an, oh I was gonna say Tessa could tell you which lab it is since um they actually did quote unquote maintenance to figure out um which lab it was to keep the um air perfrizing it um going so the cooling stays on. Cause remember she did a lie saying like oh hey um I got like um some intel that the um cooling in this place was actually going down and all the um, subjects in there are gonna like you know thaw and ruin all your shit. Well, and that's how she got news where the breaker room was. Yeah, I know that, but you were not you were not from the way I understand remember it. She came out she came out of the lab in that area, but not the particular ones that you were in because there really wasn't much going on in the labs that you were in, correct? No, I went to the break rooms where all the labs like um power systems are. So I know which power system is, so I can tell you probably because I'm pretty sure their name they have labels on them, so I can tell you which one it is, at least by the number. Oh. Okay, that's fine, but I'm trying to find out what level biohazard lab that would be. Uh, okay, yeah, I wouldn't have that information. I just know the number. But it of should, the, I mean, it area. should be, it should be like a, like on a color coded on the door. I mean, yeah, above the door or around the door. Yeah, but so you, you didn't actually get that deep. You, like mm -hmm. the, the layers, like where, where you were is like, you know, it's like layers of onion. I'm, where it's I'm just, wondering. Uh, somebody saw room. somebody uh, saw may come out of the lab looking white so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i saw her go okay, past I, the breaker room that i didn't okay. see her come out of which way she probably came out elevator for all i know okay all right well the um okay may i guess I, the way uh, to, to find this out would be if that lab has its own contained mm -hmm. air system and I plus with negative with, with uh, pl pl plus with negative pressure and so that sort of thing like that, it's on an air system and negative pre pressure. You know, to where when it opens up, air can come in, but it can't go out. You know, that sort of thing like that. Because if it's not that high a level, we could probably get something into the into like through one of the venting systems and get a camera in there. That's what I was getting um, at. But but if but if this is like like a level. Damn, but it, I can't remember if it goes up or down, but whatever. If, if this is one of the stricter level labs where, or like I said, it has its own air system, self contained, doesn't have any connection with the rest of the station in terms of, of the oxygen and stuff like that, obviously there's not going to be vents into that lab. So we cannot, that would not work. Or it's yeah, just no. going to be very kind of controlled, like, like the, um, the vents, um, you know, like much higher security than. A lot of the rest of the facility or whatever. Well, um, I'm thinking can, can we can we spot some scientists? Uh, again, I'm like, not really worried about the, the security. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about the biohazard level because there will be certain things that are taken to prevent bugs and germs and stuff like that from getting out. That has nothing to do with human security. So it would have it oh, yeah. would have its own. It would have its own. The highest levels would have their own air supply, no connection with the ship. Entry and exit, not only would uh, there be airlocks, but it would be negative pressure airlocks, so air can flow in, but they can't flow back out again, uh, in which case it would be virtually impossible to get anything in there without going through the the doors that uh, that, that are designed to let you in. Uh, and, and even then, they, you, know, you might end up being in one of those, walking into one of those suits and then walking and using the, have to use the suits to manipulate things. So I'm trying to figure out if we can if we can do it indirectly or if we would have to physically go through that door and like I said had, uh, possibly have to deal with uh, all that we'd be able to see we'd be able to see obviously pretty well in there because uh, to be able to manipulate the glove boxes and stuff like that you have to be able to see and uh, yeah. yeah I say as long as we stay away from the, the chaotic like part where like you know mm -hmm. the part of facility got destroyed um mm -hmm. security should be down anyways over here because well they're not focusing over here anymore they're probably focusing over where the explosion happened obviously mm -hmm. so we should be good on the whole security part i think as long as we stay far away from that part and we just get like the information we can get yeah but so the only problem is is that um you don't necessarily know like where the explosion happened you like felt the explosion and you heard it but you didn't see it now, the security would that that have on their on their board? Would that have like a breach in section so and so? 
Sure. sure yeah. Can... Yeah. Do you want to do um, just try to get into the computers real quick and like look where? Yeah, um, to see where it happened. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Simple enough. Okay. Yeah. You want to give me a computers roll? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the there wouldn't be any modifiers for that, right? No modifiers, correct? Um so you can use your you can use your um oh my, your laptop, my laptop or, thing. Okay. So yeah, that's but two. It's only gonna give you a plus one, not a plus two. Or no, plus, I guess you are one. doing intrusion. So I guess yeah, you yeah, can I use am doing a, intrusion. Okay. You yeah, could give right. it you could use give it a plus two. Okay. Do I just put down two? I don't need to put down plus two, right? Um, yeah, it's or just two. just do a computer roll and then just add add two to it. Okay, so I'm just trying my format. Okay, all right. Okay, okay 14. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, sixteen with all your bonuses. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, you if you want to, what I'll let you do is um, you can get the footage from like the moment the explosion you know happened. Um, and then, like, that's kind of like a crit, right? Like you rolled like a 16. Mm -hmm. But um, if you um, if you want to, like, I'll give you this, like, security footage of the area. Okay. And then it is in the, um, the, uh, the virology, vi virology research, like the, um, the, the lab that is lighting up like a Christmas tree is virology and it's just like you know danger danger like um uh there's like everything like there is explosive decompression the um you know everything is on fire there's uh and you know it's like it's it's uh looking very dire in this lab um and if you want to just kind of look at some of the footage, I'll let you do that yes. too. Yes, yes, I. Mm. Okay. Cause, so, cause even... um, as you're as you're looking at some of this footage, right? You see, um, there is like, and there is an explosion, and it happens, and then it is on the outside. The explosion like rips apart the. Um, what do you call it? The uh like the exterior mm -hmm. of the um of the of this lab. And then and you see like a bunch of um lab coats, like they got they get kind of like sucked out. But at the same time, there are all these little like rhesus monkeys, you know, and stuff, like little um lab animals that are getting mm -hmm. sucked out as well. And they are little rage monsters. As soon as their cage flies apart, like they are, they are attacking. Like they're trying to like kill the um, lab coats and stuff. Okay. All in favor yeah, of not going anywhere near the virology lab. Yeah, and also it like yeah, you see, nah. um the like the Irish shut like the um mm -hmm. the you know the the whole facility like the that wing is sort of mm -hmm. like locks down mm -hmm. and then you see some lab coats they're like kind of like banging on the you know on the door like we're alive you know we're alive in here um, you're right okay yeah um but the like. The, um what about the monkeys do they have does any of the monkeys get out they're like sucked out into space sucked out into space okay yeah like so, the whole the whole like yeah. you see them like they look like little rage little rage monkeys and then you know they're like like immediately attacking or whatever and then and then you see them like slowly just run out of oxygen basically okay yeah you know? Actually, this um, is but, that's important, boy. Well, because because I think we've got enough stuff here that we can go back, and uh, we need to collect that. Somebody needs to collect that monkey. 
I okay, mean, we yes, got the notes so, here, but we also got we got the notes here, but we have the answer to what's going on in that monkey's blood. Yeah. So you have um you have the security footage. Mm -hmm. You have um you have the you didn't break into any of the computers. Um uh but, it, well, where can I You said this. The, you said this terminal was just strictly the. Uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, this security. is strictly a security. But the thing that you did get was you got the encrypted um, transmission, which you can assume was lab data. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we probably have the lab data as it is, uh, and we got enough of it to where, uh, assuming that it doesn't have like a. a so a key to where you have to have a have so and so a book or um, so and so a thing. We should that should there's enough information that that we that it could, could, should be able to be decrypted without too much problem by somebody that knows how to decrypt stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's basically you know that you can do it. It's just going to take you some time. Yeah, and you know a guy. You definitely know a guy <laughs> who can help you with that. Sounds good. Okay, so are you are you satisfied? Is that is everybody? Or I, is, I think I am. Does anybody else have any ideas? Nope. Sorry, Victor, you sounded like you wanted to say something a while ago. <laughs> Kept getting cut off. Or, um, or yeah, I don't know. I, I I was wondering if um, do we see lab coats running around? Not the lab coats uh, without persons in them but you get my meaning uh do we see some scientists being like oh my god everything is falling apart yeah oh yeah yeah there's there's people that are like scrambling like the the um you would see like the um if you're kind of just scanning the security footage or just looking out the you know the bay mm -hmm. you would see the like the um escape pods like popping off the um the facility and then also you know there is lab coats all over that are just scrambling they're like it's like ah, you know run <laughs> like we're under attack uh it's the opa you know or whatever like the um it's the terrorists right yeah yeah i want to okay this is i don't know if this is allowed but i want to <laughs> Uh, fast talk uh, one of them because they will not pay attention and I'm going to be like uh, we need to secure the clones I'm going to bluff that I know anything about that uh, or, or if you want to just scan their do their surface thoughts like scan their uh... Uh, yeah that, that would work uh, may I attempt that yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay. Sure. okay awesome yeah, bum, bum, bum. let's see Oh, uh, what's distracted along that? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, did it work the first time I clicked it? <laughs> um, <laughs> we got your athletics roll, the one. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, I will attempt immediately to re-roll this. And I'll give you, yeah, I'll give you a bonus too because this is just chaos, you know. Mm -hmm. um, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, <laughs> what is that? Okay, so, um, yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. So, um, yeah, as you're, um, sort of like scanning, you know, people that are like running past you, freaking out, um, the like you do get some like you know somebody who is um you're are you specifically looking for anything involving the clones oh uh, yeah yeah let's say that um because i i believe the chaos doesn't uh, affect only the people on the uh, the other people on the station i believe lucas is also a little bit like yeah we can die in this so i'm not going to ponder that much i'm just going to try to be like is somebody thinking about i don't know 
the clones, their the research, they got destroyed, they not didn't got destroyed in the boom. I, I don't know this, so this is why I'm asking pretty much. Yeah. Um so you do get um you you get like somebody who is thinking about the um like the big wigs, the um the high up like corpo guys that were with um the captain. Um mm -hmm. what, uh may yeah may sato like the um the business the businessman guys and um specifically the it's like the um are uh basically cloning rich people um and they're you know um <clears throat> like uh giving them new bodies which is super illegal <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 it's uh, like, um, mm -hmm. yeah that's it's just like it's just there's no there's no two ways around it it's like doing um cloning like rich people and giving them new bodies is just like super super illegal um but also there's some stuff that um that is um um it's about like a sort of like a super soldier program or mm -hmm, something mm -hmm, like something mm -hmm. that they're working on for these guys um and then but that's all you get yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's fair that's fair but it all involves well, like um viruses like um what do you call it um uh bioweapons bioweapons pretty much yeah. uh, uh, um, virusology virus uh bombs and so on dirty bombs okay right like um oh. and also like um manipulating DNA like through viruses. Uh okay, okay. So this this guy's uh I was just typing this guy's our umbrella corporation from this. Yeah, they're, they're umbrella. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh yeah. that's bad. Okay, that's bad. Um but they do have like a weapons program and they're also like cloning people. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know. Okay, in game, I wouldn't have this time at all because, as I said, chaos and stuff. But I'm just wondering, like, imagine putting your hands on one of these clones and it's the copy of a senator or of somebody. Mm -hmm. And we could use that, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, that's have to download burning. You'd have to have burning tapes or whatever. Mind scans, but mind tapes open to download, but it's yeah. it's within the realm of possibility. Yeah. yeah. Um what would it take to um accelerate the fire? I mean, could we jury rig uh, could we like me mess with the controls and over oxygenate that area? Um, not from here. Because that will be life support stuff, and you're just in like a security yeah. terminal. Um, like there's there is absolutely nothing that you can do from here that would affect life support. Oh. Um. Okay, but I okay, from a map, can we figure out where life support is? Um, yeah, so the let's see. Um I think you would know that from doing your research on this type of ship. Mm -hmm. Like you you would know like where um like life support stuff would be on this type of ship. Like it's I think it's called a uh it is a like a hawking research vessel. Okay. Is the type of ship that it is. It is the uh life support buried way in the interior, or is it um uh close to the exterior of the ship? Well, so okay, the um the there there is like a um uh a sort of like some self-contained stuff like the um the the what do you call it the wagon wheel thing like the the mm -hmm. dock 
mm-hmm. kind of has some of its own stuff because it's supposed to be like the last line of defense. And then the actual, like the, the, the life support stuff for the wagon wheel part, mm-hmm. the, or the wheel, you know, has, mm-hmm. has a, um, it's like a, uh, um, let me pull up my thing. I have my notes. Um, it is in the ring. So you would have to backtrack and go back up to the, to the ring. How, what percentage are these of the light bulbs sold? What, what percentage of the, are the light bulbs? Are they, they're, they're getting full? Yeah. How, 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 yes. How, how full are the light bulbs getting? Um, they're filling up pretty fast because everybody's sort of rushing out here. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. they know that that if they go out in an escape pod, then they somebody has to they have to be retrieved. And mm-hmm. then they know if they get on the shuttle, they go straight back to the high port. Mm-hmm. So they're filling up. It's like there's a you know, there's a, a groups of people that are running for trying to get on the um the lifeboats. And you haven't seen the damage yet, like physically. You've seen some of the security footage, but it's like as soon as something gets blown out and decompressed, then the um, the security footage goes out. Do we have any sort of type beam communications, general beam, that'd be hard to, to, to track communications set up between us and uh, the ship? Yeah. Yeah. Um, who are you trying to get a hold of uh well i guess may find out who and find out is like do you want us in the lifeboats or do you want us in the pods and do you want um, us to destroy oh, but who, who are you talking to who are you trying to call are you trying to call uh, or i guess i mean the, the, you, well, you who, have, um, whoever whoever is our handler or whatever on may ship I wanted to ask something similar. If we can talk to Jala, I'm not going to make this uh, drone out or something. I'm going to be like, what the fuck did he just blow up of this station? I feel and like you... that's Tess's line right now. Yeah. So you, so you, you like, you ping, you ping Jala? Yeah, I'm like, what is going on? Everything is falling apart. Yeah. Okay, so did you, you, did you hear did you try to kill us? Jala? Explanation marks. Like you, you guys did say that you were suiting up, right? Mm-hmm. Like you're putting Everybody on back suited up. Everybody suited uh, up. Yeah. yeah, we suited up last time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're so you've got you've got your back suits on, and then you're kind of doing all this, you know, with your back suits on, and then um, so you have at least three hours of air, um, but the uh you 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 so say that you turn on comms right and then you talk to jala you're like what the fuck just happened and and then jala is like oh big boom big boom like <laughs> you know just kind of like laughing about it like she thinks it's hilarious i'm gonna kill um, this bitch yeah and she's, Jala, like, she's Jala. like has has ever has everybody you know everybody got all their fingers and toes yes 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 Jala, what what are what what is the extraction plan? Are we to get on these shuttles, uh, the pods? Yeah, and she's like, she's like, what um, is the extraction plan? Yeah, um, and she says that she is going, basically, just going back to the ship, and then she asks you what you got, like when you were, if you got anything good, like any dirt, when you were in the facility. We have a ton of encrypted information that is uh, uh, presumably the lab research encrypted that was set off off site, but that we uh, uh, got got the uh, copies. So we get those off. We on encrypt them. We we bound dead to rights on that. We've got video footage of uh, some items. We've got. Exact layouts for the lab for where the labs are. Of course, as you know, as you know, these ships are modular, so they can 
have any sort of configuration, not any sort of configuration, but we now know at least within a fair number of areas how the how the labs are configured. So what lab? And so we can and we've um, uh, located several labs. Uh, virology. Uh, we got some interesting pictures of, uh, <laughs> um, and um, we can figure out from there where uh, the uh, the clones probably are, uh, based on uh, the uh, some conversation that uh, one of the people that uh, Tessin over uh, overheard, and then the uh, Lucas got. Uh, some uh, Sherpa scans from some big wigs. That's uh, uh, of course not eligible to hold yeah. up in court or anything like that, but it does confirm that they are doing bodies. They are growing bodies as replacements for big wigs. Uh, and they're also weaponized, they're weaponizing this rage virus, which we have, at, we, which we do have evidence of. So we got She's a lot like, of stuff. So you want to pick us up? She's like, you got the video. You got the video. Yeah, we, we got some video. Yeah, right? yeah okay, I picked you up. Video. I picked you up. You, yeah. you, you just go outside. Just go outside. You, you get in a pod. You put on a back suit. You get outside. I pick you up. Yeah, you know, no, and, they, and she that... sounds like she's inside. She's actually like inside a helmet. You know, mm -hmm. like her voice sounds like yours, like inside the helmet, mm -hmm. like not on yeah, the yeah, ship. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, she's like she's like, you just get you just get outside, I'll pick you up, you know. Um, just hang on to that, hang on to that video, like hang on to all the, the data. Um well we will. When we get when when we get aboard the ship, uh, you'll get access to it. Mm-hmm. They better get um, 10,000 yeah, credits I am so tempted to blackmail her. Like, we have all the proof, and we can eliminate ourselves from all of this equation <laughs> and be like, hey, you have been seen here. Should <laughs> in this place? I don't uh, know if she's the right person to blackmail, but I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking out loud. It's fine. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, yeah, she's like, she basically just tells you, just get outside. You know, I'll find you. Like, I'll pick you up. I'll get you. I, I, I bitch. You know, I get you on the ship. Um, Perfect. On our way. Perfect. <laughs> I have right. zero faith in this woman. I have zero faith in anything she does now. She blew up this place while we were still technically inside it without telling us. No, yeah. <laughs> Insanity. Yeah. Um. Yep. But I've known so many people like her. Um, but if you do, if you do want to backtrack and then just like totally sabotage this place, you can do that. Um, I will say that you, you kind of fit in right now. Like you look mm -hmm. like you're, you're sort of like, mm -hmm. if the, um, you look back, right. And then the lifeboats are filling up very quickly and you, you know, you have vac suits on. And you're kind of like in the security office. It looks like you're trying to sort of like get things, I don't know, like back under control or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and so, but like I mean, also- uh, uh, before, before we exit the security office, uh, since you mentioned Steve, uh, we can definitely start, I mean, not in the sight of everyone, but subtly disconnect wires, do the opposite of maintenance before we leave it's if it's possible like we can definitely leave this as much of a mess as possible before we leave uh, yeah um do you okay so if you're trying to sabotage just like the security office like get rid of all the security footage and yeah, just like yeah. do as much damage as possible yeah. um uh, yeah well yeah let's uh, to, let's basically close out the corridors to the uh if we we know where where the uh, life support is. If we can just shut down those, so we don't have to clean them. I I, I want to like increase the oxygen flow uh, to the areas outside the lab. Basically, I want I want what's in that lab those labs destroyed. Um, those things can so not get out. You can't you can't do life support stuff for the the wheel here. 
but you can you can sabotage like security footage you can lock corridors down Yeah, well, I was just, just make this to where we can just uh, walk to the walk to the uh, life support, uh, lock corridors down so there's no no surprises. Uh, set it up to where the camera's blind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Let me just get, um, I think one more, either mechanics, mechanical role, or you could do, if you want to do a skill chain and like everybody helps out, I would take, you know, like computers, um, or just like brute strength. Yeah, brute strength shall we see? <laughs> Let's see. Well, I mean, I can do the computers. Um, uh, my mechanics is okay. I mean, I do have, I, I wouldn't have any penalties on it, but because uh, I got one. Well, I mean, Well, I, okay, I, so if a you're basic, doing a, a basic mechanic, so yeah. Yeah, So I was going anybody to say, that's better at um, mechanics, they, they take over that part. um are you, I was All going right, to say engineer if you, cracking you're your probably, fingers right now. Um, you're probably the strongest at computers, you know, like you're you're really good at that right now because this does involve intrusion, you know. Mm -hmm. So you could do that first, and then whoever goes after you will get a bonus, you know, or a negative based on what you do. Okay. Um, um, and then Tessin, you're pro you're probably way better at mechanics, right? I sure am. I am an engineer. That's my whole existence. Because uh, it looks like Lucas kind of failed on his strength roll a little bit. You could help Just him a tiny. out. Okay, cool. So that's... Okay, so go ahead and take a test and you you take a I think that's a plus four a plus four to your mechanics roll all right let's see okay so dang that was that was a really bad roll Oof, that that plus four okay help. well still though with a plus four that's, that's oh no that's what the plus no that's what the plus four added on that already I added it already with the modifier oh okay, so no that's, it, that's one... just so, so that's, that's eleven. That, yeah, that's that still just two successes. But um, so, but that gives, I think that gives Lucas, well, it's still two successes. So that's good enough. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Lucas is just trying to pull hard drives out and you're like, uh, no, no, wait, you got to unscrew it, you know. <laughs> he ruined something. We don't know what he ruined, but he ruined something there. Um, okay, but if you want to, so... Um, I'll say that you, you managed to wipe all of the security footage and then, um, you, um, opened up like, or you, you locked down a few corridors to make it easier. Like you have a clear path, mm -hmm. um, without anybody getting in your way. Let's go. <laughs> So are you, so you're heading you're heading to to life support. I do. We, I mean, I don't think we want to blow the entire station, do we? Or not? Probably don't want to blow the entire station. I, mean, I could set it up to do that, but probably. But I think I'd do better with a. I think a more selected thing would be uh, better. I mean, we got what we came here for, and we've wiped up the drives. We can just leave. Really would like to try to try to uh, make sure that those labs go up, but yeah, uh, that that uh, nothing gets out of those labs. But yeah, um, okay. So if you. Well, yeah, okay. So, so, but are you are you guys heading back to? Are you trying to? Are you heading towards life support? Is that the plan? Well, I thought that was the plan, but Mel says he wants to get out of there. Because I mean, you could just you could just leave. You could just get off the ship too if you want to. 
is um your choice. Tempson's like ready to get out of here. It's like, you know, we did more than we needed to, I think. Right. In her mind. Right. Yeah. Um yeah, like I said, I I just hate leaving stuff for somebody to pick up, but there's still those monkeys out there, so and there's some floating all... out in space. Yeah, that that are floating out in space, which they've got the answers in their blood, so uh destroying the stuff here wouldn't necessarily do anything. So yeah, let's just go. Okay, and did so okay. Did you tell did you tell Jala that? Did you tell Jala about the um the monkeys? Yeah. I don't think say that. Yeah. yeah. So you but okay, just I just just curious. Well, okay. we, we just said that uh, we had evidence of um uh, we had information on a rage virus. I don't know that we necessarily said. Uh, oh yeah, yeah I no. guess we did say we saw the monkeys. Yeah, uh, yeah, we saw the I monkeys. But we, we never did. said that they. Yeah, we never told them. I think specifically that the ones out in space floating. We just said we have evidence um, that the rage yeah. virus exists. I just because okay because like basically she's she's floating outside the space station. Yeah, and so if you did tell her. You know, like we saw these these monkeys, like they're freaking out, like killing lab lab coats. Um, now let's stop I tell just, her. Uh, like I said, I want to speak to May first, and have somebody responsible go out after the uh, <laughs> the monkeys if the, if they go out after them at all. Well, I mean, you could just tell you or you, yeah. Um, well, I mean, do you really trust Jala with the monkeys? I don't. <laughs> If they're dead, if they're already dead. Oh. Well, no, the, the 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 evidence is still in their blood. It, it they might yeah, be... they're, they're frozen. Yes. So you thaw them out, you extract the extract the virus from their blood. And although it might be some it might be damaged, it's still a pretty good start to start again. Well, that's a so, good meta question with uh, virology. Um I don't. I, I think there are some viruses that can withstand the void of space, like anaerobic uh, type of deal. So yeah. it's back. It's bacteria. Bacteria can um bacteria, actually survive. I don't, I don't know that I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there, virus, there, yeah. there are viruses that can survive in in space. Um, yeah. But but so I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm saying that a Jala could just grab a frozen monkey. Do we trust Jala to grab a frozen monkey? Is my question. Up to you. Yeah, I'm just I would like, rather okay, just like retconning, like whether you actually told her or not that you. I, that I don't think I don't like said. I, I said we had evidence of, uh, we had video evidence. I didn't say that there was any monkey floating out in space. As a matter of fact, I yeah, was thinking I ought to keep that to myself. Yeah, she would have seen it. Jala would have seen the monkeys. Yeah, she was, she would have seen the full of monkeys, but she wouldn't know that the virus was in the monkeys. Just yeah, that she wouldn't have had any contacts. Way. Like if you, yeah. it, it, you would have had to specifically tell her, like these monkeys are little rage monsters. Like they're, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I just said. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong about this. That I was trying to be cagey on this, and said that there was, that we had evidence. Uh, or a, uh, that they are developing a rage virus. I didn't say what that evidence. Uh, I said we had video evidence, but uh, but okay. so I mean, if J if Jala takes the time to think about it and put it together, Jala could probably figure it out. But this from Jala, which does doesn't seem like Jala does a lot of planning and thinking, uh, more reacting. It's, yeah, it's more it's more like fly by the seat of your pants. She's good at blowing stuff up, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she's really good at that. Yeah, yeah, she sure is. Um, so okay, just my my question is, um, are you are you going to backtrack or are you just going to leave? I think we I think we decided we're just going to leave. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and I would like to get on that ship, and I would like to see if we can get a private audience with May. Okay. So how how do you? Because um, okay, I'm just gonna. Well, you said you, you said there were pods, right? Yeah, oh yeah. No, you can get in a pod. 
It's mm -hmm. I, I was I was thinking if you wanted to get on, on one of the shuttles and go no, go no, back we don't want to get the port. A pod no, is we, easy. we don't. No, we don't want to I do mean, that. We want that. Yeah, that that's the plan could, with Jala is, is to get on the pods. Yeah, yeah. You could get on. You could get on a pod. Yeah, it's the the shuttles are filling up fast. The pods is not. Is not as yeah big exactly, as. exactly. So um, okay, so uh, and, okay, so you're back. And the nice thing about and the nice thing about the pods is we circumvent security, the high port security, because I bet you they'll be checking people that that get off of that, that get off of those those uh, 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 escape uh, you know the escape ships you know the, the lifeboats. Yeah, they they might be specifically looking for people like you, maybe. Um, or okay. just anybody just swag these stuff off the station that they're not supposed to. So Somebody I think the pods is a good way to circumvent it. day when this happened, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and maybe matches as, as an APB, a police description. Um, yeah. Okay, so if you're so if you're backtracking, um, just the uh, you don't you don't really you don't need to be sneaky about it. You look like you fit in. Yeah. Um, you see all these people that are wearing, you know, like lab coats and stuff that do not have vac suits on. And then they're mm -hmm. heading in the opposite direction. They're heading for the lifeboats. Mm -hmm. And then and they're like kind of shoving each other to like get more people onto the lifeboats. But as you guys like backtrack up towards the, the wagon wheel, you know, going up the spokes, um, you aren't facing any like resistance. It's like everybody's going the other way. Um, and also there's so like if you see like some of the security bots you know like they're trying to help everybody onto the lifeboats so they're preoccupied mm -hmm. you know they're like this way citizen like go you know like there is um escape pods on you know this and this like go down this corridor or whatever you are being so assisted do not resist type of deal yeah. yeah but they're they're preoccupied like they're trying to like help people evacuate yeah um, well, my, my my only thing while uh, we are going because we just want to uh, evac pretty much uh, meet up with Jalap and uh, go back to May uh in the end yeah but did you, a, did you want to sabotage the station anymore or did you just want to get a get a, a pod well this is more up for my compatriots because i don't think lucas really knows a lot about how to sabotage the space station what i wanted to ask is can i um is there something like a lock or something? I want to see if I can find a simple people or something like a firearm, a slug-based firearm, no energy stuff, no nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, um, there's In this case, I kind of want to pocket or to put, uh, uh, to take uh, a weapon with me. That's what I kind of wanted to do. Probably somebody yeah. dropped one of the security guards, dropped a gun or something. Or I, I'm looking for a handgun. I'm not looking for a, an assault rifle or something like that. Yeah, well, probably there yeah. there, there might be they might be in a we weapons locker in security there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll tell you what you have easy access to is uh, stun stun weapons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So a pan baton or, or uh, something. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, I'm going. I'm going to take that. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I'll take one too. Um, and then, like firearms and stuff, like actual firearms, slug weapons are locked up. I'm not saying it's impossible to get into. It's just it's going to take some some doing to actually. Well, get do we have? I mean, this is. I mean, we don't I have say, the time. I assume. Yeah. You know, not not like the stun batons. Is is there like a? Um, uh, a taser, you know, that fires it. It's no, it's literally a taser. You literally, it, it's it's a taser. So you fire, you fire it, and it. Okay, yeah. well, I mean, basic, basic same thing. You pull, you, you aim, you pull the trigger. So I, yeah, even though it's in slide, you can I think also, it you can also put it up against. You can yeah. use it like melee, like put yeah. it right up against somebody, and then fire it. You know, mm -hmm. um, 
but uh, the, the it's also you can it's also concealable. Um, right. So if you're wearing maintenance mm -hmm. outfits and you're running around with assault rifles, mm -hmm. you know, it may set off. Yeah, it, it, you know, the, the, stand, the stand gun will uh, will suffice. Yeah, yeah. Right. but you can you can hide it. You know, you can put it like in your put it somewhere and kind of hide it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, stash it in my uh, overalls, pretty much for quick uh, breast access. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. um, okay. Does anybody else want one? Yeah, I'm, I'm taking one. Okay. Uh, the, like I said, like I said, even though it's I, my thing, especially a slug. I mean, a gun. I mean, a, ha a handgun is handgun is handgun up to a certain point, you know. Well, just, so it's it... for one time time shooting and pulling the trigger, you know. Yeah, but so say that, um, I don't know, like say that with a fire, like an actual like slug weapon, a firearm, you're used to it having some kick and then you're, you know, you're used to aiming mm -hmm. it a certain way and like, um, and then with a, a taser, you know, it does take, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you have, if you have any firearms training, it's with a zero, you know? instead of mm -hmm. like a slug like plus one so it's so yeah. you still, you still I'll, probably, have your base. I'll probably be i'll probably be using it at pretty much quite blank range if i'm going to use the thing at all so that should give me a yeah yeah, yeah. um plus one on okay that, yeah. so but if you want to like to you can do that thing like you can do the belter thing where you all like push your helmets together and kind of like talk to each other yeah and then you can hear each other talking without turning on comms you know yeah mm -hmm. um but okay so but are you are you actually are you just trying to get a pod or are you going to sabotage the station somehow? well what's well, between us and the pod that would be uh i mean is there like a power plant uh, i mean well, what's what's what be long way between us and the pods um so let's see as you're coming up this corridor you do see there there are like three you know, unused pods in this corridor. Mm -hmm. um, like you're in the um, the kind of like the mess hall area where you like first come in. Mm -hmm. um, and then there is like a few that have fired, but then there's there are three that you could get on. Um, so you could just get off right now. But if you want to keep going towards life support, you could do that too. Um, and then, you know, people are, but people are starting to grab the pods and stuff, you know, because the, like the, the security bots are like this way, you know, get, get take a escape pod citizen, like the. All right. I don't think we have a chance on that. Like I said, uh, I, I, I don't want to take the chance on that myself. Let's just get on the pods. Okay. So we've you just, got, just for we've effort. got too much valuable data to st take a chance of losing it. Not to mention ourselves. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll just say that it basically you, you know, like you, you listen to one of these security bots, right? And it's like, mm -hmm. get on a pod citizen. And you're like, okay, you do that. You get into the pod and then it just pops off, you know, like you hit mm -hmm. the button and it, and it like pops off. Um, and then uh, as you're like, sort of flying off the station you see like like you're like have your like face up against the glass and you see Jala and she's like like um <laughs> like hanging out on like the outside of the mm -hmm. um the the space station and and she's suspiciously close to what looks like some kind of a, a horrible blast and some monkeys and and lab coats like floating out in space. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um and then she's like she's like Anna, Anna, I see you. I see you. I come get you. I come get you. You stay right there. Um oh. uh, and uh and then um yeah, so just for the sake of brevity, you know. Um you it it takes a little while but basically um there are like multiple ships that are here like uh you see the 
you know, the lifeboats are heading back to the high port, you see that there are a multiple of these like kind of like fast um fast, fast traders, you know, like sort of like like um mm -hmm. May's ship. Um, in fact, like a few of them are like the same make, like the same like Zunsu class, um, fast, fast merchant ships or whatever. Um, and then they're kind of hanging around and then they're like, you know, um, some of them are, it looks like they're doing, trying to like recover people, you know, from mm -hmm. that have, that are, have yeah. like launched or whatever, mm -hmm. or they're um, trying to like um uh, uh like leaving you know like as they see all the chaos but you see that it's like the there were there must have been some kind of meeting where all of these like big corpo types you know were at the station at the same time um and so you get back on to the um <clears throat> back onto the ship um the uh <clears throat> the uh the zen the zen shing right and uh and then and then may is like is still just you know white as a ghost and and jala is like it's like hey everybody everybody we got we you know we we got we got the security footage we got the um, and then she like she like pulls out a a monkey, and she's like she's like I got dead I got dead monkeys. We got the, the this is my new crew. These guys these 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 you know. And then she like does like she's like uh, Beltaloda Beltaloda like. Um, carry with that thing. Carry with that thing is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll say Beltaloda, but then I but then I'll say but, but find something to contain that monkey in, please. And she's like, oh, it's dead. It's dead. Are you scared? Are you scared? You know. Like yes, I'm scared of what it's. I'm, yes, I am scared of it. I'm scared of what's in its blood. That's you know, a test monkey. Yeah, like, and then, and then, like, fun time is over. And then she, like, takes it away, you know. And then May is like, she's, you see her, like, she's looking at the dead monkey and she's just, like, sick. She's like, oh my God. Um, and then she's freaking out. She's like, she's like, Jala, you fucking crazy bitch. You crazy. Like, she's like, she's like, you, you told me that we were just going to get, you were, we were just going to get video and, and you're, you're, you're a fucking terrorist. And, and Jala is like, you know, she's like, oh, poor little rich girl wants to play freedom fighter with the terrorists, with the OPA, poor little rich girl, you know, she, she go to college and she get radicalized and she want to she want to be a freedom fighter you know just like giving each other like may is freaking out she's pissed and jala is just she's like on cloud nine. she's like oh my god you know we big boom big boom we blew up the the high wind station Justin you know? just goes over sits in the corner and just take a swig of whiskey this is just too much shit at this point i'm done with this <laughs> yeah and 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 May is like she's like, did you did you get the footage? Did you get the yeah. footage? Yeah, we got we got a bunch of bunch of footage. What did you? Uh, uh, can you make sure that he gets that into uh, quarantine? There, you quarantine. Make sure May that Jolly gets in the called quarantine first, and then we'll go over. The, uh, we'll show you what we got. I want to yeah, make sure that. Like Sight. She's like I, I, I know, I know what that, I know what that is. It's, I, it's I figured we, yeah. One of the others saw you coming out of a lab looking rather sick, so I'm assuming that was from seeing what was going on with the monkeys. Mm -hmm. Um, and then she's, you know, she's like, okay, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm going. Um, back to um, <clears throat> uh, shit. Um, Akemi. She's like, I'm leaving. I'm going back to Akemi. I'm going to. I'm going to back to my father's comfortable casino 
and I am just going to lay low for a long time. Um, and she's like, what do you want? What do you want me to do with you? Do you, do you want me to take you back to the high port? Do you want to get the fuck out of here? You know? Yes. Um, well, yeah. the plan was for us to get off this crater hole because I can't stay here for much longer. So yeah, be great to go somewhere else. She's like, yeah, I think we need to leave right now or else we're going to be on the next episode of Hunter's Killers and we're going to be right after those those hyper terrorist guys. Like, we're going to be next in line. Um, I, I agree. Let's leave. Yeah. So um, basically, um, she like spins up you know the the um you you guys head for the uh the jump gate right mm -hmm. and um and then they she's she's still freaking out like she wants to get out of the system like as fast as possible and then she's giving them her transponder codes and then she asks you like she asks each of you um like how you want to be listed on the crew, like what your names are, you know, like your actual legal names. And like, cause she has to, um, they, they, she like puts in her manifest, you know, of mm -hmm. like stuff that stuff that she's going, like what's on the ship and stuff as they're, as she's trying to get through the gate. Like you basically have to go through the last little bit of security here. Like there's like a couple of ships that are sort of hanging out like by the gate and they look like destroyers or something. And you're in a little, little um, fast trader. <laughs> well, I mean, so uh, you can, you definitely, my can. actual, my actual name is this Renfrey is not the last name. That's like a middle name. So it's, uh, it'll appear as an R under the thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, it'll just be uh, uh, A R. Whatever I have, I just I made that up. Whatever the last name is, mm -hmm. uh, to, does it like to go by your full name uh, normally? Um, okay, but, so uh, so is anybody giving them fake credentials? Well, I was never I was never uh, pulled over by anybody, right? No, and like nobody was my pic was, was, like was, my, was, my, was my picture was my picture ever on anything? They they like they had like a vague kind of I think that they like basically um it was um what's her name? Um it was the security oh, forces like lady yeah. who was on the train. Mm -hmm. She like she gave them kind of a description of you guys. They and don't it was have like any, vague, like they that they don't have any actual uh, picture and I have changed the color of my hair and, and various yeah. other things too. So um uh, yeah, and as long as there's no picture, as long as there's no pictures of us for facial recognition, that sort of thing like that, mm -hmm. I think I'm okay. So, in everything that happened on the train, like if there was any security footage of you, it would have just been you blending in, like it would have been before the explosion. Yeah, you know. So it's like after you left the train, like they basically said, like, well, that's strange. Like a few people walked. Like that's kind of suspicious, you know. Um, but the only thing, the only one who kind of sticks out like a sore thumb is Tessa because she's a giant lion person and she has a prosthetic leg. She's the only one that really sticks out because they don't have any photos of you or anything like that. They just have like a description. So um, on these IDs, so we have manifests. Do we just uh, have to put down our names, or I mean, or do, or do we have to put down name, race, sex, et cetera, et cetera? Um. So you you basically you you list like what you what your job is, is like on the ship. Yeah, exactly. You, you so, say like I'm an engineer, or I'm a, you know, I'm a gunner, or whatever. Like I exactly. guess you wouldn't be a gunner. Nobody would be a gunner. No, but you'd no be gunner. like engineer, <laughs> yeah. or you'd be like flight crew, engineer. You know? Yeah like navigator or something like that. And then, and, or just crew, like line, line crew. 
Yeah. Um, and then you do have like most of you, I think, are are Tessin, you were Navy, right? Yeah, I'm Navy. And then Lucas, you were Navy at some point. Yeah. And then Anna, you you're Scout. just huh? I was in the scouts. Okay, yeah, scouts. So you yeah. can give them your your navy credentials or your scout credentials, and that mm -hmm. would actually speed things up. Okay, all right, we'll do that. And like I said, there's I don't think there's anything from that based on what you're saying that should uh, cause us to be uh, sus suspicious. Yeah, I mean to be honest, I think it's going to cause you more trouble if you give them fake, fake stuff, yes. credentials agree, than yeah. if you just give them your actual credentials. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Tessin's out of here after this, so there's no reason just to hold back. Just give them my mm -hmm. Navy's ID and just be like, yep, mm -hmm. that's me. Anyways, see ya. Bye. Yeah. So if you... If yeah, you we're give definitely them... not making a fuss out of this. We are like, okay, here are the papers. Papers, please. Just let's go. Let's go fast. Yeah, yeah it's basically you You just, you know, you say, you, you say to May, you're like, Okay, my name is Lucas. You know, I like give them like your full name, and then you give them your, you know, your like uh, Navy ID number or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then um, each of you like hands over your your actual like you you just you know you you give them. She's sending this information like on her manifest. Mm -hmm. Is the last step of security before you actually jump. Dang, I just realized how clean probably Tessin looks in her picture on her ID card compared to how she looks now. She looks so fucked and scuffed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so um, as you're as you're doing the jump, it takes a um, it takes a minimum of a week to actually do a jump, um, and you level up. Mm -hmm. So if you um so we've done let's see we've done three sessions right yeah this is the fourth I believe yeah the other there was a session zero and then this is and this would be the third one yeah yeah double let me so double you check on that get, I get at least one point that you can put into so if you want to do some point by it's basically like if you have a skill, um, if you want to take it from zero, or if you want a skill at zero, it's one point. If you want to take it from zero to one, it's one point. If you want to take it from one to two, it's two, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, so if you wanted to like get a new skill at uh, two, I think you could, or no, Sorry, no, that's not right. You could get a new skill at one. So zero, one. Yeah. So you could get you could get one new skill at one, or you could raise a skill that's at one to two, you know, for two points or something like that. Mm -hmm. So okay. just, you know, think about think about what you want it. Cause like you basically you spend the the time like during the jump, mm -hmm. um, just like studying you know there's there isn't a whole lot to do you're basically just hanging around the ship like watching movies like yeah we probably have to get to the the outer edge of the solar system before they engage it and to, to yeah yeah so you have to reach the the edge of the you need to get to the gravity well like the edge of the solar system for to get to the jump gate and then actually doing the jump takes you know a certain amount of time um, Actually, this is episode five. Oh, well, okay. Then one more, one point, one more point. So okay. each session you get one point, and then also um, we were supposed to be doing goals. Like I, I forgot to do goals, but um, I'll give you um, like because you kind of figured out like what was going on with. Um, Astrogen, you know, aka Umbrella Corp, mm -hmm. or a lot of what was going on. Um, you got, you know, a ship, like you have your you got off the system. Everybody wanted to get out of the system before you ended up on the next episode of Hunter's Killers. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
I have a feeling we're gonna end up there anyway somehow. <laughs> they, they gotta they gotta catch you because you're out of the system now first. Um oh, I say we're going in there because I'm more contestants. I say we're gonna go in there just somehow, like we just fucking mess up so horribly bad we go on the set somehow. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, my, my suspicion is that uh, Jala is the last boss of this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Victor, you're back. Look, I can see you now. <laughs> I just picture, like, she's, she's, she's based on um, Kara, Kara G. Um, what's her, her character in um, The Expanse? Um, I forget what her character name is. I love, I love that. I love that. I love her, like, her character. So good. Bye bye. You know. Um, yeah. What are you doing? I'm talking about um, um, stretch with a D, right? Or the, you know, the, uh, let's see here. Um, but if you want to, we can kind of put a pin in it there, or um, I like. I don't know, Leslie. You're saying you're kind of tired. Um, or we could talk about where you're going. We can talk about where we're going. Yeah, can, we, can we have a little break? Just yeah, a second, sure. So I can go the rest of your stuff. Okay. Ten, All right. ten minutes? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, because it's very, very uh, combat-oriented, but I don't want to go murder, hobo, everything. So mm -hmm. I, I'm actually more... That's why I made them a monk. It's more like try to de-escalate. Only if somebody mm -hmm. actually is too violent, uh, he shows this violent side. So I was wondering if I can help, like try to train, like if we will ever get a ship, or if something I could man some guns, or I could even learn some electronics. Like I have very, very much a combat-oriented character. So yeah. uh, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Uh, this is a little bit meta -y, I feel, but I'm just talking like... Uh, well, no, I mean, I think I think you... Because your character, like, you were Psy, Psy Warrior, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. So we could put some points into your psychic stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, okay, yeah, that's fair. So I'm going to meditate a little bit while we are staying uh, on the station. I'll have to look, I'll have to look at it because I don't... I've never okay, had a psychic yeah. before. Mm -hmm. Like I've never rolled That's one fair. up, and but I I'm, I know that there are there is like sort of like, you know you can start fires you can teleport you can throw mm -hmm. like a book you know like a I mean or you can throw like a wall at somebody with your, um psychic stuff so it's like it's powerful stuff so I mean I think it makes sense that if you want to, use your psychic stuff like as a combat skill because I think it is important that. I mean, you just have something, you know, like some kind of a combat skill. Um, okay, but um, so while you're while you're on the ship, um, I think May kind of approaches you, and then she's like, "So, so, like, what did you see? I know that you said that you got some recordings." What kind, what kind of what did you actually see and and she doesn't seem she seems like she um i guess if you were doing like an ins you know if you wanted to sort of like feel her out like she doesn't seem threatening she doesn't seem like if she's worried about something that she saw she's she's kind of like confiding in you almost mm -hmm. This is uh, towards all of us. The what? Uh, this is towards all of us. She joined us on the uh, bridge, I assume. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. Like you're uh, spending, you know, at least a week, like jumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we have time to talk. Yeah. So she's just talking, yeah. you know, she's like talking to you about, you know, like what you saw in the facility. Um, she's like, yeah, do, no, can it, you? It was... oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, she's like, can you show me some of that security footage? Yeah, I'm mean, sure, sure. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll pull it up yeah. and show it to her. Okay. Um, uh, I'll just, first of, first of all, let me give you an overview and I'll show, okay, this is the general 
layout of the uh, ship, uh, I mean, of the labs as they're situated. And uh, we uh, pulled up the, and after some uh, experimentation on the part of uh, Tessin and uh, Lion, we identified uh, labs where it seemed like they were possibly doing the work. So we pulled the, the footage from those and this is what we got. Then, then I then I pulled the footage and I'll show the um uh the uh uh the explosion, the um, um the monkeys, the uh, uh them raging before yeah, before they get sucked out. You know, the uh, I'll show the footage. Uh so we've got I mean we didn't obviously go into the lab and get a lot of First hand look at it, but we got we got some uh, the security footage from the uh, exterior of the lab, and I've got some things to crack here. We might actually have security footage inside some of these labs too, but I'll I'll need to, to a little a little longer time to access those to see what they're showing mm -hmm. inside the labs. In the meantime, sure. we've got a ton of transmissions between um, the lab and a point out in space, which we're going to have to identify where they were sending the transmissions to. Obviously, that's important. They are encrypted, so it, but uh, which will take a while to break. But I'm assuming that uh, what's, uh, since these were coming from inside the labs directly, that these are all the results of the experiments being sent off site to somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, presumably, um, actually. Presumably the corporate so office, but. Yeah, it, and if you do want to just spend some of the time, you know, trying to crack these, you can. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Like looking at what these transmissions actually say. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, you know, it's like I said, it just takes time. Um, mm -hmm. But she's like, she's like trying to get you to sort of scrub through the footage and then mm -hmm. like um, find the footage of her, like and the group, like the corpos like as they're going around the facility and then she's trying to she's like back up like look what's like what's that okay. you know and then like, all right so yeah we'll we'll pull that and we were uh targeting certain places but yes we can we can follow you around the we should be able to follow you around the uh ship on that so i mean the, the um station on that it'll just take a little bit of time but uh, yeah, so I'll, but um, we'll go, we'll so go back. if you'll stay with stay with me, we'll go back and forth and we'll do that. Then, yeah, but um, so as you're you're kind of like looking at some of this video, like scrubbing, you know, back and forth, like looking for her and this group, it's like every time they go into one of these like higher security areas, they draw like you don't have the footage anymore, okay, and so um, and then. Inside. Mm -hmm. yeah it's like they go they go into like a high security area and then like you do see jala like come out or, i'm sorry not jala you see may like come out and she's just like she looks like she's about ready to throw up and she's just white you know and like the other the other guys are kind of standing around like oh you know this is very impressive you know like talking to each other or something like smiling you know like like did you see what that monkey just did to that you know or whatever like <laughs> something like they seem like pretty pleased with their results and she just looks like sick, like disgusted. Um, and then she's, you know, she's trying to find like actual footage of like some of these like experiments and stuff, but it's yeah. not on there. Um, not, at least not on the general security. Now we pulled, he put, he pulled a bunch of stuff. Um, um, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and I'm that, that, that we haven't, that we haven't even cracked into yet. So most yeah. of it's probably going to be from the exterior, but um, I'm assuming on I'm assuming on some of these uh, uh, experiments, the results of experiments. I'll look for the signature of a video footage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so because um, I mean they're almost certainly sending video footage as well as just encrypted my, my reports of somebody in, in, in writing or of somebody talking, right? Yeah. Um. Do you want to give me? Just give me one more computer roll. Okay. All right. Just don't don't roll snake eyes because you're gonna 
screw up some of the data. Well, I'll back it up first. <laughs> you jinxed it. You just said it. Oh. Yeah, you said it. No. 15. Okay. So, um, yeah, as you're like, you find some of the, you do find some of the experiments, right? Mm -hmm. And um, there is, um, there is like the, one of the, one of the guys like walks up and then like, he like taps on one of these cages where there's like a little, little monkey and it's freaking out, you know, it's just like foaming at the mouth. And um, in fact, okay. Does anybody have any like medicine? I don't want them. Yeah. I don't believe I do. Well, I mean, no. I've got I've got medic at a while at at a one. No, it's fine. Just yeah, medic medical work. Um, just give me just give me a roll, like just see what and see what you got. Yeah. Um. Okay, yeah, it's like this little bastard. It's just like he 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 like walks up, like taps on the cage, and then it's just like you know, freaking out like it wants to kill him. And then he kind of shakes his head and like does a thing, you know, like a mark, like, um, and then um, he, uh, and and then like goes over, you know, and then like hits a, hits a, a button on his uh, pad. And then like a little, like a, 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 an aerosol, like goes into the cage, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then it like opens up. And and then there's like two monkeys there, you know, and then the other one just tears apart. The other one just like rips into him, is like biting, you know, like just complete rage, rage monster. Um, and then he like, and then he like looks, makes some check marks, like he's very impressed. And then this guy goes back to one of the other labs where um where you see him, like he sits down at a desk. Right. And then he's putting some some data into a computer. And then you see Lucas like standing behind him, like looking at the data that he's putting in. And it says like rage increased, you know, like this much percentage or whatever, you know. And um so but as far as like the actual, like the um the well, I mean, wait, you you got a 15. All right for your your electronics yes I know. um so you see you know these uh there's there's like all of these experiments happening and um there's it looks like they're it looks like they are doing specifically they are testing for different attributes like they're testing one of them um it seems to be like strength uh, and then the and then another one seems to be intelligence related, mm -hmm. um, and and then there's just like pure rage. Mm -hmm. now, and then they're uh, kind of like testing these levels and stuff. Yeah. Um, so now was the, the aerosol was that sprayed into the rage monkeys cage before they two pet ones were put together and uh, he was released on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like so, there um there's like two two monkeys like you know next to each other in two cages. And then you know they're both kind of like one of them just looks furious and then the mm -hmm. other one is kind of like freaking out like kind of hiding in the corner. And and then but you the, know, he opens up but the, the aerosol was like, the aerosol was applied uh, first to the monkey the, the rage monkey and then I was I guess allowed to dissipate and then they opened up the cage. They, they put the cage well, together like, and he opened like it sprays up. it. Yeah, he like sprays the aerosol in the in the you know like in the cage, and then uh -huh. you know you see him. He's like, and then and then they open it up, and then he just launches on the other monkey. Okay, all right. So I think we found the the intended vector. I'm sure Brights would probably do it too, but it's airborne. It's a uh, uh, that aerosol. Uh, it's an aerosolized virus. Yeah, she's like that's that's. That's a that's what that's it that's that thing, she's like there. Do, do you know what that is? No, it's 
it's it's it's fucking rabies. They they gave those little bastards weaponized rabies. Do you know what would happen if that shit got loose? If like if that if that stuff made it down to the surface, you know, like they they might think that they could shut down one arcology, they could just lock down one arcology, but they got all those mines, you know, like all those tunnels. Mm -hmm. Man, it would be like a it would be like a zombie outbreak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, and I she mean, starts I mean, talking to you. I about, mean, I guess I guess you could do this. I mean. And And have all the foods laced like they do, as I recall from some stories by my great, 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 great from there back still on Earth. Um, uh, he was a park ranger and they would drop um, food laced with the rabies vaccine to keep the population, uh, to keep the rabies in check. I mean, I guess you could do that with food, but still, would you have the time? That's the question. Yeah, but this they're is not this gonna is allow weaponized. you to have time. Yeah, like, I know. This is, they're not weaponized rabies. It's not like you know, like I've been I've been looking into this stuff, but like, you know, my my family, um the you know, the 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 Sato family, they were supposed to do like a weapons demonstration for us. Mm -hmm. Um that we, we we have a war going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, like on Akami, there's a, a cold war going on. between the, the socialist systems and, and our system. And they basically want the planet back. We took it from them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and they're, they're working on, on weapons and, and they want to use this stuff, but they found other stuff. I mean, like, you know, God, there's, there's, there's so much crap that these guys are into it. Like, this is just like the tip of the iceberg. It's like, um, You know the 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 precursors like the ancients. Mm -hmm. You know how how they built the gates and all that. Like basically, <laughs> I don't think like, any anybody knows exactly how they built the gates, but yes. <laughs> well, the the they, general the I know the general idea of how they built the gates. <laughs> yeah, she's like she's like they they found stuff. You know they found stuff that the ancients made. That's like. I don't know, like I, I heard stories that, that stuff like they, you know, they they go to a planet where they had artifacts like, uh, you know, ancient um, archaeology stuff and it was booby trapped and it like it changed people's DNA and stuff like that and made them crazy and like whatever it is they're working with, they just need to be stopped. Yeah, I mean, well, the fact that, uh, like the fact that this is aer aerosolized, I mean, that's too easy to get out of control, you know. They're they're working with viruses and and I think you know while well, changing people's DNA with viruses and and that's 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 rabies, like that's that's weaponized rabies right there. Yeah. Well, just to, for, first of all, just the fact that it's aerosolized, that's weaponizing it right there because otherwise. Yeah, I mean, normally transmission has to be from a bite, you know, obviously. Uh, so that's there, but uh, um, I'd be interested to see how long this takes effect, how long from the start of the initial exposure it would it would take a, a effect there because that, that, you know, they could shorten or lengthen as they needed the time Uh, the time span for showing symptoms and which uh, uh, well, rabies, it's not it's, a, it's going to be spreading after they're manifesting the symptoms because they were going to be, well, no they could be lethargic and stuff like that first. So uh, yeah, I mean, they could piddle around with, with the length of the incubation period of the virus. Uh, they can do all sorts of things. She's like, simply well, modify, you know, modifying the form would be enough to to be would be bad as enough as it is because you're right the rabies vaccine might like what might not work on the new on the new version of the virus yeah i mean rabies is deadly enough if you don't get the vaccine you die mm -hmm. it's like it's a hundred percent lethal mm -hmm. and and if they're working on stuff that the ancients cooked up I mean, you don't even know. Like, I I've seen stuff like the the ancients. They 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 took 
whole star systems like they took like systems like old earth you know where they they took mars and then they took venus and then they took earth and put them all in the same orbit so that they were all right in the goldilocks zone like they have technology stuff that we can only dream of like terraforming um moving planets around you know traveling from one star system to the other in the blink of an eye like stuff that we can only dream about if they're if they're doing weapons research on stuff that they found that the ancients cooked up it, we got no chance but this this is proof this is this is you know this helps yeah. uh i just i got to show this stuff to my fat to 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 my dad you know um and and i got to i got to expose these these assholes like they just they need to be stopped not to be insulting your father I, I certainly don't want to do that but can you set a method of distribution uh, to, to um, get copies and have them available for instantaneous distribution just in case he doesn't think this is such a bad idea I mean I'm sorry I've been raised to distrust corporations <laughs> well Yeah, you I mean, certainly you certainly seem like an honorable person, but of course I've never met your father, so yeah. Mm I mean, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe we can just put the information out there. But -hmm. he, uh, I mean, he's not unreasonable. He's not a bad. He's not a bad man. He's just, you know, he, 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 he bootstrapped himself. Like he came from a rough upbringing. Like mm -hmm. you know, where we're going, it's a, it's a different kind of world. Like. Um, the you know the the families the you know the families you know like they used to control everything like from the docks like they kind of took control of the docks and then they took control of the government and stuff and my family you know we ran casinos and stuff and we did manufacturing and stuff like that and uh ended up being powerful but he's he's not he's not a bad guy he's just Okay. he's We just need to talk to him. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, have it, have a backup, and have a way to distri distribute it if he de decides he doesn't want. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I don't. Yeah. Just, just in case. I mean, that's that's uh, there has to be some reason why this these technologies make corporate types go googly eyed. Um, so. It might be too much of a temptation. That's all I'm saying. It's just Yeah, I, I also pr wanted protect, maybe protect him from himself. <laughs> wanted to uh, yeah. tell me like uh, respectfully like Miss Sato. We you could probably also talk with your father and discover more connections in this web of intrigue. So who are some of these investors? They probably know them. Yeah. Uh, uh, who did you meet on this station? Uh, how deep does this go in, I don't know, uh, the blanket of uh, corporate society? Um, yeah, I, I mean, in, in the big picture, um, I would trust no one, let alone a greedy corporation with such a thing. So, uh, Again, yeah, yeah, no, it's no this offense. It's just the way we were raised. Uh, and she's like, "No, I'm, I'm on your side. Like, I'm, I'm not like that. I, yeah, I know. um, I don't. I, I believe that. I, I believe. That. I definitely yeah. believe that. But she, she Well, says, I know exactly who they are. It's I well, bought. if you're on our side, uh, let me give you a little piece of advice then, sugar cup. Uh, first off, this proves nothing. All the stuff we got won't do shit. If I know anything about companies, they can bullshit their way out of anything, and all this shit means nothing. Everything we got will do nothing. I've seen the backhand of the corporations time and time again. And let me tell you, in the Navy, we don't care how much information you have or what you do. You're basically just make yourself be a target out there. So what I'm saying is, sure, you can give this to your father. But what if he's also one of the red wigs that you just don't know? Can't even trust your own family nowadays, I heard.
It's like, well, look, like, what? Go ahead. Go ahead, Liza. Out of game things. Does the governments have any control? I mean, if they decided to crack down on a corporation, I mean, really crack down on a corporation, could they? Oh, yeah. I mean, mean, they could they could blow them out of the sky like the um, the actual. So, okay, so the um, the corporations, you know, might be in control on um, Hemsit, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, they are sort of under the umbrella of this, poly- like they are one little system in a much broader alliance, you know, and they they are supposed to play by the rules. But who's to say that they aren't, you know, developing yeah. weapons for that side. Yeah. Exactly. But it's like they could just they could just blow them out of the sky, basically. And what and what sort of government runs the 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 sector that that uh all this is her family and all the rest of this stuff is in oh the sato family the the no the what what government uh, is the overall there from the their star system you know the, this whole area that we're talking about it is um <clears throat> so you are in um it, it, uh the union or sorry united galactic coalition which like i think um think space nato <laughs> you're basically in like space nato um and then like their number one enemy kind of is um the united socialist systems mm-hmm. which like i think like um uh, Russia and China and Vietnam mm-hmm. and um, you know like this sort of like a cold war that just kept brewing like mm-hmm. went out to space and never stopped. Yeah, exactly. And um, but, so, but, presumably, yeah. this type of government would be would have to bow to enough public pressure. So if uh, if, the, if they would normally not do anything against the corporations, if there was enough of a public outcry. They might have to do something too, right? Yeah. But also, so like this this lab, like this mm-hmm. corporation has been linked to other viral outbreaks. Mm-hmm. Like there was a um a sort of like a COVID outbreak. You know, like mm-hmm. think the um think of like the lab in um what's it called in uh in China. Yeah, uh the one uh, that Lu, Lu, um the Wu right who's something or other lab <laughs> yeah it's like they were specifically doing research on a specific type of virus and then there was a suspicious outbreak and like this does sort of prove that they've been doing weaponized virus research mm-hmm. um <clears throat> and i want i want to ask one more thing uh sorry uh, i wanted to ask may but here is the thing, like meta-wise, but no, I can roleplay it as well. Like I want to ask her. So I got from what Anna recovered from the tape that she's shocked of the cruelty of these experiments. I want to ask bluntly what other things she saw because she's she has been treated like an investor. So what I'm what I'm wondering is. Is there something that me, Anna, and Tessa never saw that she's seen something other than the rabies, that the aerosol rabies? Yeah. yeah. If she if she um has trust in us, we she should have um enough trust to tell us that then, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um and then um I think if you want so she she let me see she don't have she's just like She, um, she says, she, she says that, um, she saw that they did a demonstration of like what, you know, what they could make these, um, these little lab animals like do to each other. And she says that she saw something else, you know, and, um, and she kind of like shakes her head. And and then and and she brings up the um 
the the clones and then um she says that uh like the um the group that she was with is called zaibatsu like it's a zaibatsu consortium and it's a group of like industrial industrialists who sort of have an alliance um and uh and then one of like a couple of the clones were of these um like high level guys like like old old um high level corpos and they basically made them new bodies and and you know like the the whole thing just makes her completely ill and the, or you can kind of just see it like when she's talking about it. um like what all the stuff that she saw and then if you you know if you even like if you wanted to like scan her surface thoughts or whatever you could do uh, that to see if she's telling she's telling you everything but i will i will think on it but what i'm trying like meta wise i have never mentioned the clones so that's a plus in her favor i wanted intentionally not to mention like hey we know that they also cloned people i wanted to see if she will tell that to us and she did but there is something meta that i'm wanting to know two things one did her so her family is not implied in uh, is not implicated in this whatsoever there is no sato that has been craving a new body no okay so and and she she mentions that she you know she's a representative of zaibatsu she was representing the sato family Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this conglomerate of, I imagine, uh, uh, Asian space people, uh, sh her family is part of this conglomerate. It's like a space Tencent, pretty much. It's space Tencent. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then she mentions that she wanted to buy drones that she was going to buy, that she wanted to, for defense, you know, but, mm -hmm. but not not web not viruses not clones like okay. nothing that she just wanted that she was there you know she wanted to see like a um she wanted to buy drones <laughs> yeah and the second thing and that's all uh, not to drag it out too much the some of the people that she met and gone around she definitely knows them there are other investors probably are other zaibatsu members did she recognize one of the clones as being of some of the compatriots she was going to uh, investigate the labs, their investments going towards. Yeah, specifically, um, there was, um, I'm about to, I have to look at my notes real quick on uh, Zaibatsu. So, um, <clears throat> There was uh, one of the um, uh, one of like like some of these there the uh, what do you call it like corpo executive guys you know but they're they're like very old um, and they're you know like basically like. Oh, you know, I heard that you do this kind of stuff that you do. Um, or I think, yeah, maybe she even explains this to you. She's like, she's like, yeah, you know, like estrogen, they do. Um, if you're, you know, if, if you're rich like me and you get an arm blown off, you can just have them regrow your arm and they'll yeah. reattach it, mm -hmm. you know, instead of getting a prosthetic or something like that. And then they use your actual DNA. And um, and then she says, you know, but like they they cloned um, Haru. Like um, she mentions, like two two of these like um, executive guys, like Toshi and Haru. <laughs> How do you spell them? <laughs> I don't think uh, heard that. I imagine my character would know their names probably. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now because I need this to be added in a log. Uh, uh, this is in, this is important stuff because these individuals are 
the deepest in these investments practically it's their bodies it's their new bodies waiting for them mm -hmm. right right okay so i'm i mean meta wise we're probably if you can send me some of the names we will put them in a log or something yeah yeah that, we, that's what i was curious about pretty much we'll, we'll figure out what we can do with cy warrior too <laughs> But I'll get you the I'll get you the actual like what what corporations they are and like um and this is open like I'm um, we are openly discussing all of us three so this is what I was interested in if somebody else wants anything mm -hmm. else yeah. but she's she's completely honest with you okay okay yeah and like if you you know if you do scan her service thoughts she's like telling you you know well okay yeah she's she seems like completely honest. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, and then she says that, um, like, basically, she's going to go talk to her father. She's going to go to, um, they're going to, they're going to go to the casino. Um, and then they're just going to lay low for a while. And um, uh i'm trying to think what what else uh like jala like she she is just oh, yeah. what the Where is she? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. is jala okay when we say we got a ship is, does jala come with the ship um she is on the ship for now she's with All you right. she's making the job um, with you is she on our extended warning plan does, does she come with one of those you know we need to make sure that um she doesn't um blow up we have insurance if she does. Yeah. Um, so are you, are you, she, you know, like if you meet her like in the mess hall or something. Uh, I, I just wanted to find out what the situation was with, with the ship. I mean, and what was planned that we were signing on to somebody else's ship or we got our own ship or, or what the deal was. So you're on, it's May's ship. It is May's, May's ship. It's but not Jala's ship. Yeah. But like you said, we got us a ship now. It was part of the deal why we were doing this. It's like, what is who's that whenever we get to that ship whose is it going to be yeah and are we um, just crewmates on, or are we going to be just crewmates on it or are we going to be is it going to be our ship or what's the deal well okay so this ship is currently it's maze but i know but remember yeah. our deal was our deal was we want a uh, part of our deal was was we want a um a ship uh uh, but it wasn't it wasn't ever specified as to whether or not we were going to be crew on that ship or we were getting the ship. I was I assume yeah. we we're probably just going to be crew. So yeah, well, keep in mind, like a ship, they cost a fortune. That's what they I meant. That's why I assume, that's why I assumed that we were pro that they were probably going to get us on get a, as berthings onto a ship. Yeah, you know? yeah. But Jawa, she seems like she is in very high spirits. She's like, you know, especially with like with you, Anna. Like she's mm -hmm. like, hey, you know, like doing like all kinds of like belter, you know, sign language stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, hey, homie, like, you know, I'm like, yeah. like, good job. Like you, you real good. You good crew, you know. Um, uh, I don't know any belter creole. I want. I, I need. To, I need. To, I, I, I. I was trying to look. I was starting to like to try to memorize some of that, but I don't. Except, yeah. except for boss bang and some of the lower level ones like that. I can't really remember yaw and stuff like that. I can't really remember. Yeah. Well, just, okay, just thought, think of like, we... um, just think of Genret um, Jersey men. That's basically the vibe. <laughs> yeah. Although I, I, I will say if this is, uh, yeah, that uh, the Kara G's character, that was Drummer. Drummer is a hell of a lot smarter, uh, cagier than, than <laughs> And and more sensible than this person is <laughs> than Jala is. She might have started out like that, but yeah, yeah. She calls you um, uh, Sitara Mali. Like you know that that means little star. Like uh, she's like pretty pretty happy with you, and you know like hey, but you know, uh, Beltaloda, Beltaloda. Uh, I I need to, I need to brush up on my Belter Creole, but. Yeah, me too. Yeah, she seems pretty pretty happy with you. And then she mentions that she put the monkey in cryo. She's like, "I'm not okay. stupid. I freeze the monkey. He's not running okay. around, and he's he didn't come back to life." You know. 
Yeah. Disclaimer, I love the way you portray her, but in game, Lucas is going to be very cordial with May because actually has respect for her. When meeting Jala, uh, it's just going to pretend he doesn't see her and just move past. Like, <laughs> give her a cold shoulder, like, this is insanity. Like, <laughs> Tessin yeah. just goes below deck all the time just to work on the engines, does not actually deal with this woman ever, yeah. or even May. It's just like, I'm just going to work here. Yeah. <laughs> so you're well, just kind of blending in with the ship. Um, okay, so one thing, um, when, you do, when you do level up stuff, my one thing is that it has to be actually stuff that you're doing in game, you know, mm -hmm. or you can train each other. To do things okay yeah so it's like if you have some firearms training you could teach lucas how to use a firearm or like mm -hmm. you know like if with electronics like if you're trying to teach some electronic mm -hmm. skill oh so yeah. if it's not meta because we don't really know uh, in fact let me do this mm -hmm. but if you're well, doing if you're doing engineering stuff you know like you can definitely level up at engineering yeah, we we de we have enough skills between us that we can probably that, that we can teach each other necessary on the stuff like that. So yeah, the the yeah. I, I would just say like I just you know, I'm like, just uh, I'm just not going to decide right now. So so yeah. if you basically oh, I was going to say um basically Tessa just keeps to herself and like just keeps working stuff below deck to keep stuff in check while is in the hyperdrive. So she just will be down there if you want to talk to her. Just find her down there. If not, mm -hmm. she's just going to stay on there for the whole week mm -hmm. working on stuff and only come up when she has to eat mm -hmm. and sleep. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the only yeah, thing I like... wanted to say is uh, in, Ascent, uh, in the Ascent notes, uh, if anybody is curious about what Lucas does, and I invite everyone else to showcase this, uh, mm -hmm. uh, their character skills, um, I, I'm, I'm open to learn from some of you. Like, as yeah. I said, uh, uh, as you can see, I'm pretty much just uh, gun gun, beat beat, and uh, psychic powers. So if you want some trick, oh sorry, I didn't I'm sure. considering raising it from one to from one to two, maybe on that, because that way I could get a specialty in the uh, other weapon and the stun stuff as well. Or yeah, yeah so a, like Tessin, I would say. I don't like. I don't want you to pick up gunner because you haven't actually. Nobody's actually been gunner on a ship. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh, I've already had gunner since the beginning. Well, That's just yeah, but I mean, don't I just don't can't put level points up. into it because mm -hmm. you're not. You know, you aren't being gunner on the ship right now. You're right. Being, yeah. You know. Like yeah, if you did, there. I don't know. If you wanted to pick up some astrogation or something like that, be fine. Mm -hmm. Or like recon. You know, like you did a lot of recon. Mm -hmm. Um, stuff like yeah, that, or strength, that. like you could do some like athletics or whatever, you know, yeah. just, just like make sure that it's stuff that you've actually been doing in game or that you can train each other. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I've already done that. Like, like I said, I put four points already into to get to like to a three skill in mechanic sense. That's also she's going to be doing since that's her hobby. That's what she does. That's literally her job. Mm -hmm. She just keeps it herself basically since, you know, yeah. She doesn't really trust anyone here. And it's like, I just needed a ship to get off the crater. That's it. I got what I needed. Um, mm -hmm. See you guys um, in lunch room. <laughs> and it's, if you're looking for, I can put the, I can put the, um, the point by thing into chat, but if you want to, if you want to look at it in, it's in Traveler's Companion on page 23. Okay. Page 23. Okay. Yeah. I figured I'd sit there with that and look at it and run, mark, put down the skills that I've used and what skills that I might that I think I could get trained in that I might want to increase and then kind of crunch the numbers to see which way is it because we got six points you know uh, yeah. which which way I want to go on that. The only thing that um, I've been I was going back and forth on this, but I think that I want to keep it so that um, Lucas cannot train you to do psychic stuff that's all right actually. because I mean, you have to sort of be born with innate yeah, psychic I mean, ability yeah you can't yeah, no, I, I, I don't see my thing. character having that anyway it's so yeah yeah because i was thinking about letting you do that because 
but I don't, I think, I think I want to keep it where the psychics yeah. are like, they're born with it and they have to, you know, have some training. Well, here's the thing. That's kind of like impossible for people to learn psychic stuff. You just can't do that. That's not yeah. like a real thing. How to get like psychic powers is either you're born with it or you um come in contact with something that like is like a psionic like being. And usually that's not good for you because only two things happen. One, you could get psionic powers, or two, the most likely one, it possesses your whole body and mm. it tells you to do things that it specifically wants you to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so we're gonna keep it that the psychic yeah, exactly. the psychic stuff is not trainable unless you're born with it or exactly you know, yeah. like like Dustin said that you mm -hmm. get touched by something psychic and it tries to invade your mind. Um, but I think that's a good, I think that's a good spot to put a pin in it. Um, yeah. And, and as for, as for Jala, it's like, you know, the, uh, I don't know, we'll get to know her, you know, it, it's, it's not a good thing to ignore people like that. You know, you need to know what they're likely to do. The only way to do that is to get to know them. Yeah. So you want to, you want to spend some time, like, I'll sort of talking time to Jala? Out Oh, I'll, I'll just keep um, hang, hanging out yeah. with her, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and Lucas, just so you know, when you give her the cold shoulder, she does not give a shit. <laughs> exactly, yeah. She doesn't even seem to, she doesn't even really seem to notice, like, yeah. like, oh, well, coffee. I, yeah. yeah, you want some I, coffee? I, I ask her, it's like, I, I ask her about uh, 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 any facilities here for uh, low G or zero G sports. I know we there's, oh, there's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, you want to play a game of so and so? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I play Sabak. I play Sabak. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Um. Well, I'm okay. But, uh, I like playing it. Yeah, I think if you if you um if you pick her brain or like, is there anything that you specifically want to talk to her about or anything you want to ask her? Or... Well, it's uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Probably so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll I'll just I'll just kind of go along, and if there's anything that she's that she kind of drops that sounds interesting, that you can um, that I can get her to elucidate on, or like, oh, really? You know what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... <laughs> She kind of uh, talks about like she talks about like uh, where she's from, you know, and mm -hmm. um, she. I think at the same time that you're kind of feeling her out, she's feeling you out a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and like um, she definitely lets lets it be known that she's OPA. Mm -hmm. Like she, you know, doesn't even really seem to hide, like has like the tattoos and mm -hmm. stuff doesn't even really seem to hide it like when she's on the ship you know like walking around in like a sports bra with her all of her tattoos you know showing and stuff and like mm -hmm. doesn't even really seem to to give a shit and then there's a lot of the crew too who kind of like they're like walking around you know and stuff like doing their thing on the ship and they look they look the part you know mm -hmm. and like and it's the way that she interacts with them and stuff and the way that they look at you like they kind of you know, like give you the like give you the nod, like um, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of sign language, like "Hey, what's up?" You know, "What's up, bro?" Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. like one of us, one of us. You know, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but yeah, she a terrorist to some, freedom fighters to others. I guess, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, I'll explain. My father is 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 a proud man, and we just. We may do on some of the the some of the worst planets um, that really that was you know, that that uh, that the large corporations really weren't that interested in. So yeah, they were. Yeah, you know, it was a hard hard scrabble life, and that's why I finally, after he died, uh, my mother was long since dead. I I, I signed up as a scout. You know so. Just to get a little bit of relief from that environment for a while, but uh, I'm I'm it, back. It's time to get back to the the stuff for a while. Anyway, 
Yeah. And she kind of gives you the same sentiment, like, like, yeah, there's a lot of planets out there, you know, nobody give a shit about like they, you know, they go out the, the union, they go out there, they snatch up all the good ones and they want the good stuff. But then there's a lot of planets like, you know, they got hit real hard. They get hit real hard by the, um, you know, when the, um, I forget, I forget what I called it when the, uh, when earth like got cut off from mm -hmm. the, uh, And the rest of it, like they just got mm -hmm. hit like really, really hard, had really, really hard times. A lot of people starved, a lot of people, you know, like um, and like crooked, crooked corpos, like taking advantage of people and like basically mm -hmm. slaves where they signed a contract and like ended up on some planet and Earth got cut off and they, you know, were like um treated like garbage like basically and she says like somebody's got to stand up you know somebody's got to stand up for us and, and you like all that everybody and, can't everybody can't be a rugged individualist so people that need their people that do need help yeah and maybe yeah. you've even heard that like you've probably heard that like being a belter you know like you've mm -hmm. heard about like people where they sign on with like contracts with like mining operations or something. Mm -hmm. And then they, they take them to some planet and like, they're, they're basically like treated like, you know, like indentured, like, um, uh, like they, pay, they pay for their yeah. air, they pay for their food. They, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They have to pay for, pay for this, the, the like lodgings and stuff, you know, like the, and the company just like really takes advantage and um but there's a lot of like operations like that that are out here on the fringes mm -hmm. where they just get away with it and do whatever they yeah. want you know honest family like i said he was too proud he never worked for anybody he worked for himself uh they yeah. had a kind of consortium of people a lot of like-minded people and they would uh, buy the mining contracts for so-and-so location something that nobody else wanted and they always manage to find stuff. Yeah, she's like, she's like, I know a lot of people. You know, they lose, uh, they lose a leg, they lose an arm, like, uh, like Tessin. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, just working the rocks, trying to get the ice, trying to get the rocks. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get hurt. A lot of people yeah. did. Exactly. <clears throat> well, um, can everybody play? Next week? Yeah, I should be able to. Yes, yeah. uh huh. Yeah, I'm good. I just want to make sure. Okay, I'm going to be... I'm going to be up in the mountains, but I'm going to bring my laptop. Okay, so, right. should be okay. Okay. I have all my notes and stuff. I don't... I have, like, PDFs of books and stuff, too, so... Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. All right. Let's we'll do those two. Then. Okay. So right. you guys have six points of point by. Yeah. Like I said, I'll I'll decide how I'm going to spend those probably tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And Victor, um, we can um, we can look up the Cy Cy Warrior stuff. I just need to I just need to look at it because I have I've never had an actual psychic in a game before. <laughs> I was so excited when you rolled up a psychic. I was like, ah, oh my god. Like it's like which I forgot psychic. I need engine. I forgot I don't have engineer. And I definitely need that for certain mechanic stuff for more advanced stuff because mm -hmm. I did forget about that. Uh, mechanic yeah, well. can do all equipment, but when it comes to more advanced stuff, you need to have the engineer skills. Yeah. So Putting that on my list and putting two points. Uh, you you help me with you help me with the mechanics. I'll help you with the uh, the the engineering. Well, how much? Okay, so you have you have engineer two. You have mechanic. Mechanic is three. Mechanic three. Oh no! You I'm sorry. You have engineer engineer one, but your education is high. Mm -hmm. Did you already put all your points in? Yeah, all my points have put in already. Yeah, I, so I, had to put, to, um, I had to put I had to put two points in to get engineer, so I need to put a zero and then another point to make it one. So the rest do, of the points went into. Do you need to pick a mechanic. specialty with engineer? Um, that's only if um I require it through the game. 
I haven't required it because I just got the skill. Oh, right, right, right. What about electronics? I think you need to pick a you need to pick a specialty for Oh, electronics. yeah, that's what Like I'm would looking have to at ask sheet. you. Electronics that I could give you help with computers or remote ops, yeah. Uh, I mean, sure. Because I didn't have yeah. one for um, electronics yet because I didn't have one to pick, but I could make computers since I guess I technically help with those. So I'll put computers. Yeah, and Does and that make Anna sense? could definitely train you. Right, yeah, For sure. I could help. Yeah, and Or uh, or remote for engineering, ops for you I because specialized in power plants, but yeah. Yeah. Um okay, so so Victor, we'll do we'll do Uh, I'll some do rem I'll do remote ops because just so Anna has computers, I have something else. So we'll do remote ops. That sounds better. It's So like they're I mean not overlap. There's no overlap well, there. I I have remote I have remote ops, but yeah, I've got I've got more than one I've got more than one uh a drone, so <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying not to overlap as much as possible because yeah, <laughs> it's. Well, no, I think you got that from Navy anyways, though. If I remember. And I will Um. make computers because it doesn't matter because you have either one of them. And that's like, I think computers is more dumb, appropriate to have right now. Yeah. And I think that you can use computers to fly drones anyways. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, you could just use electronics um, generically just to do it. But you need, Yeah. like, um, you can get, like, a bonus by using computers, I believe, because technically drones are supposed to use wet computers anyway, since they're connected to something, Yeah. some kind of device. Yeah. Because I don't think that... I'm not sure if you can use piloting or not. I'm not positive about that. I'd have to look, but... I do No, I pilot do like is piloting. specifically for um, vehicles and ships, basically. And sometimes you can have a specialty with them for either, like, um, land vehicles or, like, ships, which, um, in this Yeah, case, well, I'm pretty now... sure it would be ships. For some people, Yeah. Well, now but I I have, I want as to far say that. as, as far as that goes, I have, um, under, yeah, under pilot, I have spacecraft and small craft. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that's good. Um, I just I want to say that there's like with drones, it's like there's you can use electronics computers to fly a drone, but I want to say there's one other thing. It might just be Dex. I don't know, but. Okay, I'll take, I'll take a closer look, yeah. Yeah, but um, okay. Well, that's a good. I think that's a good stopping place. Okay, sounds good. All right, all right. Let me go ahead and stop.